Hey guys, I'm back again and this time with a new type of video. In this video, we're gonna learn how to get started on Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. So, so just want to say guys as I remind you that this video is for beginners only. So if you are playing Final Cut Pro, there's no need to watch this video. But if you're starting up, there's a great thing that you, you will learn from this video. So let's get right into it. So firstly, launch Final Cut Pro, obviously. And then you will go into see screen which is gonna look something like this. Okay, so just ignore this screen because uh, actually I was working on my last project. So that's the reason why it was open like this. So when you wanna open your Final Cut Pro, you will go into witness which is gonna look something like this. So what you have to do is we have to make a new project. Okay, so we have two options. Either we can go from right there, new project, or we can just go on top of our screen and then file again, guys, top of our screen, file, new and project. And after that, you have to name your project. As usual, you can name it as the way you want. Like, uh, let's name it uh, um, trial video. Okay. So after that, you can set the date and time according to yourself. I mean to say when it's going to start it and all the things and then come the video part. So what resolution your video you want it to be like right now it's set on 1.2p. You can set it to 720p or you can go for 2k 4k 5k and if you want to go or you have to set according to yourself you can go for custom and in custom you can set it according to yourself like 1400 by 900 900 whatever it is i don't remember it but whatever it was so and after that you can set the frame rate right like 30 50 or 60 let's set 30 for this and let's just go for 102p only and after that, just do not just get through this one. Okay. Rendering audio. I just want you guys to just get started only. Uh, we're going to just talk about this type of thing in the later video. So let's get right into it. So just, then just click on press. Uh, so then just press on OK. And that's it. You will get your new project, which is going to look something like this. As you can see right now, there's nothing right now. So we have to add some videos, right? So to add some videos, we have to go on left hand side of our, our screen and then you will see a downward facing arrow import media from device camera or archive so again top left hand side you will see downward arrow just click on that and it will bring all of your videos so to import file let's just take um i have my sd card slow oh no no so let's just go with my um youtube videos okay so let's say i want to go with uh, my macbook video okay Okay, so as you can see right now, you can see your video as you can see. So just click on that and then just click on import, import selected as usual. I know you are all seeing right there that what it is. We're going to talk that thing also in later coming videos, but right now just click on import selected. Okay. So, but, uh, so in case you have, you want to upload more than one clip that always happened, right? So just press command on your keyboard and then just start to just click your video like, uh, here I click in MacBook Air in 2017. I I'm just gonna press Command and let's say I want to uh, add this video also. Like let's go with um, this PS4. So as you can see right now, it can select multiple videos right there. Um, my S6 Edge video or S7 Edge, whatever it is. So yeah, let's say we have to just add these two videos only in this. Okay, so just click on import selected and that both of your videos will be imported as you can see right now so you guys gonna say me that hey it is on top of a screen but not on the timeline right so to add it in your timeline you have to just drag these clips so you guys gonna say me that uh, just drag it like no we have a great option in Final Cut Pro in which we can separate the video from from top only like take example i just want to just uh, so let's say i just want to get uh, um this much clip only right let's just take this for example so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna start up uh, from where i want like from here and then i'm just gonna click up there and then i'm just gonna just drag it from where i want like i want it to be let's just take it right there only just backward again from your normal mouse just drag it where you want to get it and when you are done with your file then just drag it into timeline 
it's dead simple again we're gonna do it again guys let's just take this clip for example just select the clip you want to just just drag it whatever you want to take until the last point and that's it just drag it okay so that's that simple so what what you're gonna see is like uh, if your video file has an audio it's going to be as you can see right now it was an uh, it was an audio file right there as you can see right now you can adjust the volume right there only as you can see that 0.0, .0 decimal you can set it to infinity which means minus infinity which means there would be no audio you can set it to 12 decimal also which gonna just uh, up the audio uh, like this as you can see it can be taken anywhere you want with so yeah right there so let's just say i just want to disable the whole audio uh, whole audio so what i'm going to do i'm just going to just just drag it downward and that's it your audio is disabled that's it so let's say um we want to add some more clips also so let's take another clip okay let's just take this clip too okay so let's just take this clip too um from backward okay then just drag it into the timeline and that's it just disable the audio boom so let's say now you have to add some music also to your video or your scripted line so just go again on top left side and you will see and and music type of logo right there show or hide the photos and audio side but again second option show or hide the photos on audio side but just click on that and you will get your itunes library and just normal things you have to just choose your audio like i have to go with this one I'm gonna just drag it right there on downwards and that's it and then I'm gonna play my own boom again if you want to adjust the sound you can adjust it okay so let's say uh, we want to trim the audio okay or or just say that we have to trim the audio part I'm not liking this part okay so I just want to just Delete this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click B on my keyboard. I mean to say, just press B on your keyboard, and you will get and you will get this blade tool. So what does blade tool does? It just it just separate the clips. Like uh, let's just say I'm just going to press once, and that's it. You will let's just try this in audio also. Mm, click once, boom, it's separated. So, so then just click on A again. A means we're gonna just get back to what we were. Just click on A and then just select that clip which you want to delete. Then just place on delete. Again, delete. So that's that simple method. Not to worry. You have to just press B on your keyboard. Select the part you want to cut your, select the part which you want to cut. Like I want to cut this audio part. So I'm just gonna click once like this then press a to get back and then just select the part and boom delete so let's say we want to add some audio too okay so then just go on top left side again and then just click on text show or hide the titles and generator sidebar just click on that and you can just get through all of this this is all for final cut pro only so let's say we just gonna go with basic only right now so let's just again just press on it and drag it where you want to let's say i want to just put it right there only okay so so now what you have to do like you have to add text right so what we so what we're gonna do just click on that basic title i mean to say just cl click on that text field and then go on top right hand side and then just click on inspector button sure hide the inspector again top right hand side just click on that and you will get your normal option that just edit the text like uh, I want to write here um, MacBook Air yeah. okay and then you can just uh, choose your font it's that simple don't worry there's nothing like MacBook Air boom adjust according to yourself it's very simple don't worry so let's say we want to change the color too so just go near your screen this screen and you will see an enhancement button right just click there 
and just click on show color board again it's very easy don't worry there's nothing you have to be taking care of just go on downwards near your screen just click on that enhancement button and then just click on show color board that's it just set your color it's very easy guys there's nothing to be worried just click on that and um, let's just go with uh, this one only okay just take it as a random thing only so just yeah just click back on that and that's it you have got your title on so let's say i am just feeling like that that my title is too big i mean it's so long so i just want to cut it so just press b again and then just trim the part like i want it to be better and then just press press a and then just delete it so that's it so let's say you want to add some uh, color correction to your video too so just go on lower right hand side i mean on medium okay medium right hand side and then you will see this button show or hide the effect browser again show or hide the effect browser just click on that and you will get all of your collection and like like a um, black and white effect background squares and all of the stuff as you can see right now you can drag once to see how it's going to look age it paper there's many and many you can go through so let's just go with this one for example color correction normal one just drag it into the video file you want to just i just so just take i want to just put it in this video file just drag it there and then just click that file and again go on top of your screen right hand side click on inspector and that's it color board boom do the color correction it's that simple again guys i just want to say you guys that there's nothing to be scared of it's very easy thing once you get going there's no looking back trust me guys it's the it's very easy to use final cut pro if you're a beginner okay as you can see right now just adjust it i'm just going to just uh, not going to take a lot of time here just uh, randomly okay that's it okay and that's it you have got your color correction video you have imported the audio you have added the text you have added the um, background music you have learned how to disable or enable or increase the audio of your video and yeah and i think so this would be enough for this video i guess because this video is getting so big so if you want to see a second part guys let me know in the comments down below and if you want to go crazy if this video hits 60 likes we're going to make part 2 also so now i'm just going to show you the last method that how to export the video right so to export the video just go on top right hand side and then just click on the share button share the project even clip or timeline again just go on top of your video and then just press on that and that's it just choose your file like i always prefer to go with apple devices 102p then just click on that and that's it you have got your file like it's how big it is what mb it is taking so if you want to go crazy you can again go into settings and you can go through these things okay like format what you want you want audio like we want video as well as audio obviously publishing apple devising and the, all of the stuff like video codec h2.64 apple prores uh again include chapter marks so you know that's not the thing that you should go for i think so this is the thing that you should go for like which video codec you want it to be and again just uh, put where you want to put the your video to be like uh, i'm just going to set it on library only and that's it just share it and your video will be exported again just gonna show you guys how to share it so guys with that being said i hope you all guys like this video uh, i hope i helped you guys to learn something from this software i know this video was very fast when it comes to learning but we're gonna make part two also if this video gonna hit 60 likes with that being said thank you for watching i hope you all liked it subs if you loved it and again i am aj signing off bye bye